God, praise God. EOM 2021, February the 7th. A beautiful day. A day that the Lord has made us to see. The seventh day representing perfection. We want to thank God that He will perfect all that concerns our lives. As He has counted us privileged to see this day. I want you to know that the Lord has great and mighty things in your life. He's the great God, the incredible God. And today, by His mercies, new mercies, we withdraw from our mercy bank. The nugget that mercy causes you to mount up with wings and fly higher above every barrier and obstacles, being a carrier of God's power and strength. Isaiah 40, 31 tells us that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings and soar like the eagles. I pray for you today as you mount up with wings and begin to fly higher above every obstacle, every difficulty. The power of God is upon you today to achieve those dreams, those hard desires that you have struggled with for so long. The God of perfection, on the seventh day, God himself rested from all the the work he did. He entered into his rest. And that's the perfection of his beauty. And so I pray for you today, that whatever you are going through, the Lord will perfect the good work he started. And anything that he has not purposed for your life, he will drive them far away from you. He will cause you to mount up with wings and fly higher, soar, even to conquer grounds that you never expected. Because Luke chapter 10 verse 19 tells us, Behold, I have given you all the power to trample upon snakes and upon scorpions, and nothing shall by any means harm you. I am praying for you today as you step out this new week, this new day. And the nuggets that we also receive for this week is flames fly fl we are going to fly higher and we are going to fly above all the mountains that the enemy may be putting there to cause us pain to cause us anxiety every problem that has been difficult from time the lord is going to cause you to rise above them to fly above them in the mighty name of jesus christ and the mercy of god The mercy of God is what will take you through even those places that there seem to be roadblocks. I am praying for you. Every roadblock, every obstacle is giving way right now. And the miracle worker, the destiny changer, the covenant keeping God is stepping into that situation. This is a new week and I pray that this week the Lord will do that which you have been trusting him for. The Lord will perfect the good work he started. And remember, every day might look the same. Every day is not the same. You may have woken up this morning with some anxiety. But before you go to bed, I am praying for you today as we withdraw from this new mercy. That you are going back even with a new song. I pray that the Lord will turn every captivity around. According to Psalm 126, that when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. The incredible God is turning every captivity, is turning every situation around and bringing glory out of that story. You have been running around, moving around around the cycle. But today I pray that the Lord delivers you and breaks that yoke. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is turning things around for you. The Lord is making a way where there seems to be no way. He's causing rivers to flow even in desert places. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be put to shame. Because he said they that put their trust in the Lord. They will not be put to shame. I pray for you today even as you surrender your heart. As you give your heart to the Lord. That you will not be put to shame. The incredible God has gone ahead to make every crooked way straight. And the rough edges smooth. But if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, I'd like you to say this quick prayer. Say, Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. Come over my situation. Take over my situation and let your name be glorified. 
Let the Holy Spirit be my guide as I step out today. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. This is a new week. I pray that the week of the flames, God will cause you to fly above all the mountains that you have been faced with. And he will cause you to excel in strength. In the name of Jesus, remember freely you have received. Freely share this word with somebody because it's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen.